Hi, this is part of a video series comparing AutoCAD commands. In this video, we will be comparing lengthen, extend, and stretch under a variety of circumstances. So let's go right down here, and you can see I've got three lines, and they are, if I hover over them, they are lines, not polylines. So let's go ahead and uh, select it, type lengthen, and it says select the object to measure, and we're using the total option. The current length is 10.7437, so I'm gonna, I've selected it, and I'm gonna hit enter, and specify the total length, um, let's say 13. And that's the one I want, and there it goes. So I went specifically to a, 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 a dimension. Because it is a line, I can also lengthen it as far as I want, and I can even shorten it um, by using that grip edit command. There's no restriction on where it goes. So now if I go to extend a line, I need to select the boundary edges. So this is a, something that will stop the lengthening. And now if I stretch the line, I select the object, and I specify the base point and the second point. Watch what, see what's happening? It's actually just moving the whole line. It's because it's a line. All right, let's do the same thing with a polyline. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's try that grip edit it's not even, lengthen's not even an option. So let's type. Here's the object to measure. Here's its current length. We're going to use the same total option here. So it's selected. The current length is 21. Let's make it 25. And here's the object we want to change. It only changes the end. Okay. Now let's try extending. So select the boundary edge. Remember, we have to have a boundary edge, and I had had that selected, so it thought it was its own boundary. So let's go ahead and select the boundary because we know what we're about to do. And then here's the object to extend. So now let's stretch it. If I choose stretch vertex, then I can take it and just go anywhere. But if I want to actually do the stretch command, I have to have a base point. If I use the displacement again, because it's just a single object, it's just going to move it. Let's try an arc. You're going to find that an arc is actually a polyline. You can't stretch a line, single line or a polyline. Let's see if it works for this arch. Nope. Let's try extending. We need to select our boundary edge first, our cutting edge, and then the object we want to extend. 
Now let's try lengthening. Remember, ooh, we can lengthen it with a grip. And look, it's going to go as far as it can. We're not bounded by any kind of cutting object. Oh, no cutting line. All right, so now I've made a complex object. This is um, a line. These are all lines and then a circle. And a circle is a kind of polyline. So let's go ahead and lengthen this. Oh, remember lengthen. So let's select the object to measure. It can only select one object. You can see it is telling me when I click on it what the the length of that line is. But, so we can we can only we can only tell it to do a specific thing. And where we hold our cursor tells us where it's going to be lengthened. Okay. Now let's try and extend. Again, boundary object, the cutting edge. And now we can maybe do a crossing. Cannot extend this object. Oh. So let's do all of that and it go it extends everything it can. It'll it'll extend to that boundary that we selected. So now let's try stretching. So select the objects to stretch. We're going to use this right here. We've selected our objects. Now it's our base point. And now we can move the entire object. Notice the circle could not be stretched. Because that would make it an ellipse, which is a different shape. Those are all lines. Now let's take a look at doing the same thing with polylines. See this right here. So let's go ahead and lengthen that one. Um, and we've selected an object to measure. And now we're going to say, okay, what's the total length? So let's go to 40. No, and we'll go, okay, now it's saying I can't do that. But I can do it here. So even though we measured one object, we can lengthen another. Let's go ahead and try to extend all of these. Here's our boundary object. We have to select it first. And then same thing happens here, except only the line can be extended. This, this is a joined polyline. It's one single object. It can't be extended. So now let's go to stretch. So let's select objects to stretch by a crossing window or a crossing polygon. We'll just, here's a window. And here is a crossing polygon. All right, we've selected our objects. And let's go ahead and stretch the polylines. And it acts just the same. So let's go ahead and see if we can move it side to side if it is just lines. Yep, we can. So it reacts the same. 
All right. So that is comparing lengthen, extend, and stretch.